in 2010. A man and his crew started a podcast on the internet, but they were distracted by real life for a challenge they couldn't commit to. This crew promptly escaped from real life to the, the internet. Today, still wanted by real life, they survive as podcasters of fortune. If you are bored, if nothing else can excite you, and if you can find them, maybe you can listen to Attack of the Awesome. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Attack of the Awesome Podcast. I'm your host, Mike, and I would like to introduce you to my awesome co-hosts. First off, we have Gomer, the ranting thespian. Hello! How are you doing? And uh, where's your mother? <laughs> and Pugsley. <laughs> Hello. And our last co-host is Zero Zanhaka. Hello, people. Also known as the kid. The kid. <laughs> yes. And uh, such we, a hater. The kid of the box. <laughs> we do. We do have a couple of guests on the podcast today, but instead of me introducing them to you guys, I figure my fellow friend Gomer, the renting thespian, should introduce our guest to everybody instead. Yes, these two guests are very special guests. They are. One is a YouTube partner, and she is also a I, – I consider her a contributor onto my own site, considering her videos are posted there as well. Lacey Green. Hello. Yes. Thanks for having me on, guys. And I think the male viewership or listenership just went up because mm -hmm. now everybody is going to spread the word that we had Lacey Green on the show. Uh -huh. This will probably be our most listened to episode ever. Probably. Huh. Yes. And – Straight from Denmark, we have a delectable Danish dame, Sophie Liv. Hello. I was trying to go for more alliteration there, so <laughs> sorry. Well, how, how many ways have you to say she comes from Denmark? I, I think you said a lot about now, and yeah. a lot of ways to say it. Yeah, but you know, the alliteration is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well... This is a very special episode because, besides the two awesome guests we have, we are going to do something special in the episode. We are going in reverse. We're going backwards, so our format's going to be flipped around. So, the first thing we yeah. hop into is the top ten list of the podcast. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Let's mix it up. All right. So, the top ten list of the podcast is top ten crazy sex laws you could be breaking right now. <laughs> I don't think he planned this either. <laughs> well, well, at least breaking I'm right, now? Yeah. <laughs> right now? Right oh, now. Yeah. We're sitting, doing absolutely nothing, but talking. We are breaking some kind of sex law. Yeah, you must be breaking some, some kind of sex law right now. Uh, oh boy, let's see. Let's start off with the first one. Uh, this one's called just a little prick in Florida. In the state of Florida, it's illegal to have sex with a porcupine. Yep. Well, obviously. You think? <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> you I would have had animals. <laughs> and you put your hand down right now. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> and here's the weird thing. I can add on to that. For a while, that was the only animal that that it was illegal to have sex oh, with until God. recently. Recent it was it had to be recently that Florida passed the law banning bestiality. You know why it took them so long? Because they didn't want to talk about it in court where and kids could come insane. in and hear. Well you know what? Take the kids out of the courtroom. There you Thank go. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> but no, they can't do that. Uh, then again, this is also the same state that up until I think two thousand eight they didn't have a very comprehensive sex ed program, and kids were going out there, uh, tr you know, trying to prevent pregnancies by drinking capfuls of bleach. Ew! Huh? Oh, God. Yeah. Wow. You might kill yourself too. That might be that oh, might be wow. smart. But... Yeah, yeah. No, bleach will kill. It will kill a fetus. Don't get me wrong, but it will also kill yeah. you. At least then the world has gotten rid of the more stupid. I mean, if you drink it, then I don't think you deserve to live. I've heard a similar story uh -oh. to that, but it wasn't drinking the bleach. It's 
they try to put the bleach in their uterus. So they take, Ew. like, a squeeze oh. bottle and finish with oh. bleach. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Imagine how bad that burns. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Oh, wow. I, I can only guess what the title of this episode's going to be. Bleach up the hoo-ha. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ruth. <laughs> no, I have no idea. I don't even have a uterus. I'm having sympathy pains. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, man, okay. Let's move on to the next one before we get carried away here. The next one is, uh, based, right. it's based in California, actually. Ooh, Uh-oh, right God. frozen. It's right. California. In Bakersfield, California, it's legal to have sex with Satan as long as you have a condom on. Um, there's, a little, there's a tiny, really, really tiny problem with that. What? And the fact is, he's kind of not available to I almost missed it. Physically. It's legal to have sex with Satan as long as you have a condom. It's kind of funny because Bakersfield is like one of the most conservative communities in California. Yeah, I've, I've heard stories that Bakersfield is like, you take some of the more conser- most conservative parts of the South and put it all in this little spot in California. Yeah, it's pretty conservative down there. Yeah. It's like, oh, damn. <laughs> it's kind of funny that they'd have a law like that. But, like, is that real even? Can you even pass a law like that? It's like, how? How I, old is that? Like, what year is that from? Ah. Uh, yes, yeah. I have no clue. Does it say? It does not say. Ow. Oh, man. Okay. We should have Weirdness to up in here. Yeah, it does not say. Oh, it does not say. Oh, God. Lange, Lange Wannabe in the chat says, Sounds like Georgia wasn't the only thing the devil went down on. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Sounds like Georgia wasn't the only thing the devil went down on. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Right. Okay, let's, let's move on. And we're going up to Oregon now. Oregon. <laughs> it's against the law in Willowdale, Oregon, for a husband to curse during sex. Fuck. <laughs> that sounds boring. It does. Uh, it's, it's especially if you're a talker during sex. Yeah, that's going to be really, really... You realize a lot of... Boring. Well, okay, maybe not a lot of pornos would be banned there because how many of them are married? That's the, you get your You get your sex on up there outside of marriage and you can curse all you want while you're doing the dirty. Yay. Yeah, but the question is... Then you have no marriage. Would, yeah. What else would... Yeah, or, like, everyone there coke? is a um, coke. Hmm. What's the term for someone who believes in oh, or, people? What's the term for people who have open marriages? Because uh, insert that term for everyone else in there. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Ah. Uh. All right. That's how they curse outside. That's how they curse inside of marriage whilst having intercourse. They are polygamists. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's see. Now, let's move on to Iowa. Iowa. Uh, in Ames, Iowa, it's illegal for a husband to take more than three gulps of beer while laying in bed with or holding his wife. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Why did that law need to be made? I have to wonder this. Because the I have in the chat makes a good point. What? I, that have last wonder, what if you have you, I just have How do you arrest people for things like this? How you do you that okay. hold with the wife saying he cursed while we had sex? <laughs> and he says, I did not Oh God. <laughs> Who's gonna rat you he out on that? Oh sit some beer in my bed <laughs> at all. I, I, I have I have a theory about how the Iowa law got passed. It was the governor and his wife. The governor was sipping a few beers, asked, and the wife accidentally did something, spilled the beer on him, and in a fit of rage just made just got the law and somehow got it passed. Because he was pissed that his wife spilled beer on him while they were in bed. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Could be. Wow. Oh, country is weird. Yes, it is. <laughs> You're well aware of it. All right. Uh, let's see. We're moving on to Utah. Utah. Let's see. In some parts of Utah, sex with an animal is totally cool unless you're doing it for money. The hell? Yeah. <laughs> they got to have okay. some standards. 
God. Uh, I would, I would legal, but not animal prostitution. Wow. Um, um, you, you, I, I asked this. I don't remember if it got on my show, which I recorded right before this one. But the topic of Utah came up. I don't remember if it was on the show or if it was just during our break. And I asked then, and I'm going to ask it now. What the fuck, Utah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm, I don't know. I'm just speechless. Okay, let's see. Let's go to Idaho. <laughs> Idaho. 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 It got pimped out by your mama. All right, let's see. It's safe to make love. Oh, and because it was requested in the chat, we should mention that uh, the Maryland just passed the uh, gay marriage laws. Yes. Yes. Yay. yes. Yay, Maryland. Go, Maryland. Yes. Go, Maryland. Get Back to the done. crazy. Let's see. Now, yeah. if, now if the smartness from Maryland can just migrate up north a little bit to New Jersey, we'll be good. Let's see. All right. Here, I don't think we have a gay marriage law allowing thing yet. Well, let's, it probably goes to the federal... Or I heard change. Although I, I did hear that what's his face said he wasn't going to approve it if it got to him. And I was like, well, sure you, there are you can. Yeah. <laughs> I know. And I was thinking when I heard that from Chris, Christy. There we go, Christy. That's who. That's who he is. Mayor. He said. I think he said that. And I heard that, and I was like, well, he can go like just die in fire because he's stupid. No, not really. But yeah. All right. Maybe a little bit. Just let's, a little bit of fire. Let's, 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 let me go on with this one in Idaho. It's safe to make love while parked in Idaho. Police officers aren't allowed to walk up and knock on the window. Any suspicious officer who thinks that sex is taking place must drive out from behind, honk his horn three times, and wait exactly two minutes before getting out of the car to investigate. The best part of this law is that the cop has to honk three times before investigating. In two minutes, hell, most people will have it finished and have their post-coitus cigarette by then. Or at the very least, got in the front seat and driven the fuck away. Or at least gotten their clothes on. Yeah. They can't drive away. Yeah. Kind of, I drive away I don't know. Kind of a nice law. Yeah. Then again, if someone was being raped or something, that wouldn't be a good law. That's true, no. yeah. That'd be terrifying. Although I would think if 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 there was actual rapage going on, I would I would hope that that law would be thrown out the window at that point. I would hope. Well, sometimes you can't really yeah. tell. Yeah. Um, but I do know, like, cops coming up to the side of the road or stopping you when you're somewhere hidden. <laughs> yeah. Kind of weird. Yeah. Just walk up to that the would car. be weird. Like, what is a cop doing driving around this random hidden location? I know, right? Yeah, it's kind of strange. Especially if it's on a random dirt road <laughs> out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, or like anything yeah. out in the middle of nowhere. It's like, yeah, um, how did you know we were here? Mm. <laughs> well, some people just want to have sex in cars. Like, fucking, yeah. they're out in the middle of nowhere. Just let them do their thing. There you go. Someone was doing they're not really thing. out, you know, they're not like on top of the, on the hood or anything. So it's like, <laughs> they're not exposing That's themselves. That's public indecency. Yeah. And then it's a little legal or... Yeah. But, um, you know, as, as somebody who has had sex in cars, I can tell you that if the only way you can really tell, well, if you're, you know, unless you're, like, going really hard and making the car shake, the only way you can really tell is just coming by and looking in. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> oh, you're throwing it in there, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. I got. <laughs> that happened at the. That happened at the, the, the um bay, recently. I uh, saw on Facebook that a bunch of people were there, and then they saw someone in the car doing it. I was like, "That's weird." I was like, mm. wow. Mm. Well, it's official. Wisconsin has a crazy sex law. Uh, oh, in, in my own state. Damn it! All right. So I have not heard of the city at all, and probably have to go see it sometime. It's Connersville, Wisconsin. In that city, no man shall shoot a gun while his female partner is having a sexual orgasm. Why would there be a gun in the first place? What? Yes, as opposed to what? The real question is, as opposed to what? 
Then <laughs> why would there be a gun in the room while you're doing it with your partner? Not that kind of... You I, know, when Mallrat said that she'd blow a low -like shotgun through her back, that's not what they meant. Yeah, exactly. Not what they meant at all. The only, the only reason I could see a gun introduced into sex is if it's like a fantasy thing. And you know what's sad? Laws are only <laughs> made when it becomes so a problem. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, who was right. doing this, and what were they thinking? Like, uh, what, I want to know the thought process that went into them having guns in their room while the female's having an orgasm, and why did it become a problem? Uh, yeah, I mean, for all we know, you know, she could have been having a particularly powerful one. He just happened to have his hand on a gun. Somebody walked in on him, probably a kid, unfortunately, <laughs> and you know, it squeezed. He squeezed because, well, hey, mutual climax. What do you know? What do you know, right? Boom, and kid gets shot. Hopefully, the kid's okay. That's and that—that's just my guess, by the way. I guess that would be the only. Yeah, thing. the only logical explanation for having a gun during sex. Yeah. Well, co correct me if my, I'm wrong, but isn't there some Americans who sleep with guns under their pillows? Yes, but Dude. not literally. They don't have sex with the gun right there. They, they normally remove it because yeah. it's kind of painful. To yeah, but them. but if you forgot to remove it again, your country is fucking weird. I know. We don't have guns there. They the U.S. Control. is weird. We get it. U.S. Yeah. USA. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to Washington, D.C. Uh, the only Thank acceptable, the only acceptable sexual position in Washington, D.C. is the missionary position, and any other sexual position is considered illegal. Okay, because, oh you know, people are going to tell cops, hey, we did this, this, and this, and it's just like, you can't do that, it's illegal, you're going to jail now. What? No, no, we're not. I didn't say that. And, you know, Washington, D.C., it's, it's not the only place that it's like that, either, I believe. I think it's like that in Florida mm. as well. The thing Florida. is, most of these laws, like, most of these laws go unchallenged. There's a lot of Perfect. old laws that are on the books, and right now we already have the Supreme Court precedent um, for privacy. So... If any of these things were to come out in the states, they could easily be challenged in court and be overturned, taken off the books. So we just got to wait until someone does something, and then they're like, wait a minute, this is a law? Crap. <laughs> well, and then the, like, the, way that it would be, the way that it would be taken off the books is if a law enforcement officer tried to enforce the law. But so long as the police don't enforce it... Um, they don't usually come off the books. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yes. Uh, Anyways, thoughts, let's, thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. <laughs> let's just go from Washington, D.C. to In Washington what? State. In Washington uh -oh. State... That's quite a jump. It's completely legit to sexually spear, quotations, quotes, air quotes, a animal, as Sex long as it weighs spear? less than 40 to pounds. To sexually spear an animal. Uh oh. So how do you do that? The spear I... is his penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the analysis. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Rosen. I think we got how, that how, when I oh. said that. Oh. It's just wow. It's just but less than forty pounds. Wow, wow. A wow on a stick. Wait, as long as you can do that, as long as it is less than 40 pounds? Yes, as long as, long as, as it weighs less than 40 pounds. So, <laughs> so many house cats are being thing. buggered. Because humans weigh more than 40 pounds, so... More than 40 pounds? Just ramming right into a 40-pound thing, and if it's near a wall, it's going to die. I hope they realize that. It's going to die. <laughs> yeah. The animal stands, no oh, chance. Oh, man. Exactly. Unless it's a porcupine, and it's just going to stab the human, it's going to hurt really bad. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the porcupine again. Porcupine. Uh, the only way anybody ah. makes any sense. Does it uh, makes sense? And no, you know, it's the only way any of it could make any sense. And you know, going back to the porcupine thing, there was one thing I forgot to mention when we brought it up for Florida. There were people who actually got convicted of, by, uh, for, for, that, for breaking that law in like the past five years. Oh my god. I'm like and they were not Americans. <laughs> I don't think they were Danes, but oh they, they, they were not American. We had our own Pokemon if we did. I think we hit a nerve. Yeah, I yeah. think we did. 
<laughs> okay. Like, like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, we, here's the last crazy sex law that you could be breaking right now. And it's in Montana. In breaking Montana, the law. Breaking the, law. the law states that a woman cannot dance on a saloon table unless her clothes weigh more than three pounds, two ounces. What? what? Probably some rule to prevent stripping or yeah, <laughs> dirty Good. dancing of like, some kind. Oh stupid, that is. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 what? Is it stupid. the entire state or just one city? It's in one city. Okay, just one city. What, what What's the name of the city? Beaumont? No. <laughs> Hel- what is the name of it? Helena, <laughs> Helena, Montana. I, okay. Helena? Yeah. Oh, the capital city. Yes. Lovely. I believe that's the capital. Well, we cannot dance on a salon table unless... I think so, yeah. No ca- like four pounds? Uh, unless the clothing weighs more than three pounds, two ounces. And that's being really... Uh- that sounds like that sounds like there. Yeah, yeah, it is. It sounds dead on. Like it's not a lot, but when you're, you're talking about clothing, it's really heavy. Yeah. Like damn. It's like, well, yeah. When she got on the table. She danced. She was hot. Yeah, she looked good, didn't she? No, I mean literally, she had like five layers of clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> or you can just make it out of heavy material, which is no, never fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, yeah. yeah, especially especially if you're of the uh, larger chested variety, you have enough back problems with that, and then you add three pounds of clothing to that. That can't be comfortable. Gonna kill someone. Yeah, that just cannot be comfortable. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh. that is the ten crazy laws, sex laws that you could be breaking right now. Yeah, and what I do want to add in Florida, it is considered an offense to shower naked. Yeah. I've broken that law all of the times. <laughs> Again, Florida is goddamn crazy. Yeah, Florida is. is the weirdest state in America. It's been claimed that's that. That's why it has its own tag. On yes, God. Florida has their title. That's why Ash and I have at least one Florida story per show. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I, I, I have to come visit some days so I can read a book or something. Write a book. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. America is crazy and weird. It's the title of the book. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Anyways. What the, accent was that? I don't was know. That mine? I, don't I don't know. know. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever comes out, comes out. I uh, sincerely hope I don't sound like that. Uh. I wasn't trying to mock anybody. I think that was my own freaking accent. All right. Let's move into the next segment, which like is... The next segment that we're going to hop into right away is the weird news. Oh, I joy. I weird news. What you got? It's from South Carolina. A man... It's from, it's from Port Royal, South Carolina. Uh, a naked man stole a fire truck and killed a person with it. What? what, 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 what why was he naked? Anything. I don't know. It doesn't say. It says, a fire authorities, truck. <laughs> authorities say a naked man stole a fire truck at an apartment cl- complex in South Carolina and sped away, killing a pedestrian who was walking on a sidewalk. <laughs> You're naked, and- <laughs> <laughs> I demand the and- right to go naked! <laughs> he was pulled from the fire truck after it crashed into the trees and he began fighting with police and paramedics. I think while naked. Wow. <laughs> I, 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 think you wow. Just, I think you just won it with the best weird news stories of the podcast. Uh, yes. Because mine are not even yeah. close to that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. and, and they're all about <laughs> sex, too. <laughs> the bacon. Oh, God. All right, anyways. <laughs> There's someone sitting next to me. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to fuck with them at this point. By telling him all the stuff we've talked about before. I know. All right. Here's a, <laughs> here's a here's a question. Would you give up sex to have your bills paid for a month? Give it up? Mm. I mean, by choice? Uh, um, hmm. Does this include masturbation? It's sex. Just sex. Sex. Just sex. Would it be giving but up for the entire month? month? 
that that that's not a lot. <laughs> I could probably go a month. Yeah, that's not big. That's not biggie. Yeah. Oh, a wait month? for someone to say challenge no, no, no. accepted. No, 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 not no. not a month. No, 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 no. <laughs> let me let me read. No, no, it's there for only one one month rent. For one month's rent, okay. Yeah, for a month yeah, for of rent. One, and I, I, at least for me, I don't pay um, very much in rent. Yeah. So. All right. Okay. Any rent? Let me let me ask this again. Would you give up sex for six months just to spend one month not having to worry about your bills? Uh, that would be a negative. Because <laughs> it's, it's too disproportionate. This is like, yeah, if I'm going to put myself through that kind, that kind of stuff for six months, you know, yes, one month of rent, considering our economy right now, is, is, would be a boon and everything. Um, I need a little bit more incentive there, you know. Maybe you know, not have to worry about rent for every month I go without. Maybe, or, or get a thousand dollars, or a million dollars, considering six months. Maybe, <coughs> you know, or get a an all expense paid trip to wherever in the world I want to go. Maybe. Anyways, uh, according to what we're saying is the prize is not. <laughs> well, all right. There's a poll that's been po- that has been done, and 18% of people would give up sex for six months just for having the bills paid. <laughs> now, you say more about um, people's financial situation than about how they feel about sex. Indeed. Yeah, yeah. and even more that's people. Kind of really upsetting. About 26% would turn off their TVs for only a month if the paid if the bills were paid. Hmm. And another 21, 21% responded that they could give up their cell phones, and 14% would just sacrifice their internet access for a month. <laughs> no. Oh, no, um, no, they wouldn't. Considering, oh. well, well, wait, 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 you said their internet access. Doesn't mean you can't go to the library. Aha! <laughs> loophole! Aha! <laughs> loophole! Don't like doing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this has been really fun. Thanks so much for having me on. Oh, you got to go? I've, I've got to go. Yeah, you know, I actually stayed home from work today, but I'm pretty sick, so I want to oh, okay. get back in bed. Oh. Okay. But it was really great to meet you all. Maybe we could do this again sometime. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You rest up a better, okay? Thank you. Appreciate oh. it, guys. Have a good, have a good afternoon. Yep. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya. Uh, the next article from the Weird News is uh, s- study finds that if your date has an Android phone, you're probably getting laid. Noted. If your date has an Android phone, you're probably getting laid. Uh, you know, I have to ask Brooke what kind of phone she has because it's fancier than mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but you know, hey, you know, I have been getting laid, so because here's the if thing: if she has an Android, I have an Android phone. So I looked at this, I was like, really? I could get laid on the first day if I have an Android phone. <laughs> uh, so anyways, yeah, the uh, uh, the study, a whopping sixty-two percent. Say they had or would uh, have sex with the Android user. Hmm. Why does that make uh, a difference? Wait, I don't wait. know. Let me, I let, don't me, know. let me do this. People who, that doesn't right. make any difference for me anyway. All right, people who use Android I mean, phones are most likely to have sex on the first day. Easy. 60. Two percent compared to fifty-seven percent of iPhone users and forty-eight percent of BlackBerry users. Huh? This poll does realize that the phones have nothing to do with the people's preference on sex, right? I would hope so. Because if not, then they're kind of stupid. Well, yeah. Like uh, because you bought a phone, you prefer this actually. No, you don't. No. The phone has nothing to no. do with it. No, I I know for a fact that 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 my current um. Um, fun time buddy, if you will. Uh, it doesn't matter what phone she has, because she is awesome. 
Uh, well, I know for a fact I have a very, very old phone, so that wouldn't be a uh, attraction for people, but it's no problem for me ever getting late if I need to. It <laughs> would be really easy. Well, yeah. It's too easy, actually. <laughs> Let's see. Also, okay. Also... Is it ever too easy, really? Well, well... Yeah. Well, yeah, you... you everybody... You, you, I, I can say, uh, yeah. I'm just going to say yes. Well, it is isn't, it isn't more difficult for me than just going down to a random bar and see who buys me a beer first. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's just stuff. Go to Denmark, buy Sophie beer. What? <laughs> 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 Moving. Stand in line. Stand in line. Yes, yes, yes. Let me continue. Uh, Android phone users also make or likely to partake in one-night stands, 55% that is, compared to 50% of iPhone users. There's an app for that. And 47.6% for BlackBerry users for one-night stands. Right. Um, I've not... Okay, me and Brooke, not a one-night stand. Trust me. <laughs> now, at, at 72%, Android users are the most active on online dating websites compared to 58% on the iPhone and 50% on Blackberries. Huh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Brooke doesn't have an Android. She she has some like Samsung thing or whatever. So, uh at least in my case, the whole Droid thing is uh kind of bullshit. Also, yeah. iPhone I users iPhone users were were most likely to date in the workplace, with nearly 25% saying they would date a coworker in the last five years. Hmm. Oh, this poll is so stupid. It really is. It has nothing to do with the phone. Yep. It's the person, not the phone. Phones are not people. No. Phones are not people. That's Actually, why. That might be the... Certain kind of people use a certain kind of phone. And no, see, did you ever see, see those talking cell phone segments on Super News? <laughs> no. Huh. That was a long time. I remember uh, that. If, if, let's see. There, there, if, if, I am, if I have a phone nearby, it is on silent, especially when I am, well, you get the idea. You, I think you get where I'm going really, there. If you're doing it thing. and you have the nerve to stop and answer your phone. Yeah. Unless it's oh, like an emergency. You know, like if it's from somebody that only calls in an emergency, that's acceptable. But then you pick up the phone. Yeah, that is acceptable. But no. And like like if, if, like if say, I'm in the middle of doing something with Brooke and, you know, Iron Liz calls or something, then, you know, that, that, that's no. <laughs> oh, boy. And the last uh, stat is that BlackBerry users are most likely to consume alcohol on the first date, 72%. That's not necessarily true because most times I've went on dates when I when I had my BlackBerry active, I would be the driver. You're so, not. So, and I don't drink. You're not one of them then. You weren't Apparently. one of them. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Although now that I don't now right now that I don't have my personal vehicle, if say Lady Renee and I were to walk down to like the local steakhouse or something, we both would probably drink because we're just going to walk back. Sure. But I don't know if I would count that as a date though. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, yes. the last article I, I have for weird date, news. Like, date with friends. Uh, anyways, the last uh, weird news article that I have, probably you, most of them, you guys have heard this, because Nash tweeted this on his Twitter, but, uh, uh -oh. UK radio station plays porno sounds on air. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan. That does not surprise me. That is awesome. Uh, Jack, have last you, I checked, have UK you has tits seen on the British shows? Have you seen what they just sent in television with no shame and then in their commercials? I've lived in London for half a year. I know how it is. Yeah. And I'm from Denmark. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, all right, a UK station. What did you do with play? Sounds on the radio, but I don't know. Just uh... are you all right? A UK station's funky sensation program played the full audio from a pornography movie over the airwaves. 
<laughs> and nobody spotted this? That, that, that doesn't impress me, nor surprise me. It actually generally don't. Doesn't, yeah. Doesn't, uh, um, grandma, damn it. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Well, personally, but, you know, that's just me. The program director promised swift punishment for the unnamed culprit and said listeners should expect an apology when they tune in, to this, tune, tune in this weekend. Oh, I'm, think? I'm sorry that I had the full audio of a pornography movie. I was just having fun at the station. Like, wow. Huh. But then again, in this country, if you want to hear sex on the radio, well, you could listen to Howard Stern, I think. <laughs> Hey-o. Hey-o. <laughs> mm. All right, so that is the weird news. Yay! Yay! News of weirdness. Weirdness. And I give props to that naked man with the fire truck. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, I want to be naked! <laughs> <laughs> Yes. All right. Um, With that, let's hop into the next segment, which is the attack of the news, where we talk about what's going on in the respective fields of video games, music, movies, and just random nerdy news from ToplessRobot.com. All right. So, so I'm gonna go first because movies should be talked about first. And I got some good stuff. Like, for example... Actually, is this... Bias! <laughs> <laughs> huh? Sorry. Uh-oh. He said he's biased. Biased. Oh. Uh, Robert Rodriguez is having his own cable channel. Yes! Oh! Who? Nice! Who? Repeat I the name again. No idea who this name is. Robert who this Rodriguez. person is. So, uh, Jenny Reinhardt. Oh. Robert Rodriguez. He's one of the richest action directors oh, out there. Yeah. Spy Kids franchise. That director. Uh, oh. Um, I will say the Spy Kids franchise are his worst movie. All his adult movies are actually pretty damn great, and then they Spy Kids. Yeah. Mm. That's um, what it- yeah, but uh, apparently the channel is designed to be an action-packed general entertainment network in English for Latino and general audiences that includes a mix of reality, scripted, and animated series, movies, documentaries, news, music, comedies, and sports programming. Ah. <laughs> that's insane, but awesome. Yeah, that's what I say. And it's planned to launch by January of 2014. Hmm. <sighs> yes. Awesome. And, and it's partners Yay. and it's partnerships with Comcast, by the way, to to make the channel possible to everybody. Uh, Yay. Now, before uh, Brian Singer was brought on board to direct Superman Returns, you remember that movie, Superman Returns? Remember that movie? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yes. Mick G was supposed to develop a Superman reboot titled Superman Flyby. And the screenplay was written by... Flyby. 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 Superman Flyby. Mick G doing a Superman movie. Yeah. Hmm. It would be interesting because the screenplay... Oh my god, this is gonna suck. The screenplay was written by a younger J.G. Abrams. So... But... Well, they, that is interesting. But the G but and I'm not. Go ahead. Oh. I'm guessing I'm not sure how good a writer J.J. Abram actually is. I don't really trust him as a writer. But did you see Star Trek? No. He didn't write that. No, I think he directed that, didn't he? Yeah, he directed it. Yeah. Okay, that's but, right. It, it, but this project fell under because. McGee ended up leaving the project because Warner Brothers wanted to film in New York City and Canada while McGee wanted to film in Australia, blah, blah, blah. And, Australia. Uh, anyway, so 
One of the uh, major castings from that movie at the time was Robert Downey Jr. as Lex Luthor. Oh, oh, oh. that would have been crazy. That. That. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine him being old. That's weird. I'm having trouble picturing it because every time I think of Robert Downey Jr., I think of either Sherlock Holmes or Iron Man. <laughs> uh, I know he's or, a good uh, actor. Or Lincoln Iris. Hmm. He is a good actor, so he... He's one of us. He's one of us. It's strangely awesome to think about. He can put it off, I'm sure of it, because he's a good actor, but it's weird. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I can see Jeff Bridges as Lex Luthor saying, Superman built this in a cave with a box of scraps! <laughs> <laughs> I uh, mean... Yes. Uh, let's see. Oh, so, well, there's some brief stuff like, for example, some of Blair and Scarlett Johansson were in talks for Lois Lane at the time, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, <laughs> sh well, Shia LaBeouf was on board to play Jimmy Olsen. Oh, dear God. Oh, I oh. Know. <laughs> Shia Oh. oh God! And and I, I, I did not play stories of him. But like, unlike, but Sh Shia LaBeouf claims that he's the new sex symbol for the girls. Yay! But Sh yeah, Shia LaBeouf, I've heard that. Um, I, I was actually at a uh, at a uh, seminar for a, a talent agency in Dothan, Alabama, and the the guy that was running it, he actually, you know, he went to like film auditions and everything, and Shia LaBeouf was at. One particular one, and he went all up and down the line of of just actors trying out for this particular part that he was going to try out for, and just telling every one of them, "Yeah, you suck. You're not going to get this. I'm going <laughs> to get this." Basically, tearing everybody down. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, did they out? Like, did you, you out? You a fucking douchebag. Wait, G Gummer, who did that? Shia LaBeouf. Or, he told everyone they sucked and they weren't going to get it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I like, well, I. I've, Personally, wasn't there? It was the guy that was uh, running the seminar. He told the story. Oh. I'm still thinking it's oh. like, dude, fucking douchebag. <laughs> I know. Well, yeah, if he had said that to me, I would have probably ended up and just psh, flip him off. <laughs> I kick his ass. Yeah. Well, it, it is a duty business, actually. If, if you go into show business, people will will try to sabotage each other at auditions. Yeah, which is a douchey thing to do, but it is a douchey, but it happens. It happens all the time. You know. Yeah. Um, that's actually a very sneaky uh, way people can do it. People can even, what the really um, most usual thing is to do, actually, or seen do, is that people will rehearse for the part they're going to read up, and then the person who is in front of you in the line will lure you, know how you will read it up, and then he will do it the same way. So it looks like when you come in after him that you copy it after him, yeah. and nice. that won't be considered. And people do that. There are so many sneaky ways, and people will be douchey to auditions, especially in movies. The bigger, the more douchey it gets. Yeah. I've actually tried out for a few independent films, and thankfully what they do is, is or at least what I saw them do, was uh, nobody really tried to rehearse, at least not with an earshot of everybody else. There was not really a line. It's just put yourself on the list. They called you in, and they called you in one at a time, so you couldn't see, you know, who was going next. And there were enough of us there to where we could all like be in our own little areas and not really pay attention to one another. Mm -hmm. So, of course, this is also for an indie film. So, mm -hmm. uh. yeah, and it, it's when it gets more prestige that pe that douchey people will come. Yeah. Well, all the beautiful people who come back. Yeah. There's so many damn many beautiful people at those places, and they're douchebags. Yeah. I, uh, so yes, I was going to say that uh, before they had Robert Downey Jr. locked down for this Lex Luthor, LaBeouf claimed that Mick G wanted Johnny Depp for the role of Lex Luthor. Lex, that does not surprise me. They want to do it. Does not compute. I mean, they just moving want on. Johnny Depp. It doesn't matter what he plays; they just want him. Like, yeah, it's just Johnny Depp as as. Yeah, no. but. Thank God we don't get to see that. Instead, we're going to hope to see the new movie of Superman coming out soon, known as Man of Steel. Ooh. But, uh, Next. 
Next. Lastly, I'm going to mention something that's been released re recently as like a trailer kind of thing. A uh, new trailer that came out recently was the Raven trailer. If you don't know what the Raven is, it's the new John Cusack movie where he plays Edgar Allan Poe. adaptation of a Poe novel. Huh. What is it? It's gonna suck. No, 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 no. You're thinking something different. What, the, what is it? The Raven is a jo John Cusack movie where he plays Agen Agen Agar Allan Poe. Sorry, I'm starting like a mad bitch here. Oh, oh, oh this movie. Oh. He he joins forces with a young Baltimore detective to hunt down a mad serial killer who's using Poe's work as the basis of a string of brutal murders. That's the huh. synopsis of movie. That's cool. I mean, it looks. I look. I watched the trailer. It looks pretty badass, and also John Cusack has like an English accent, which sounds amazing. Dear God, get the inspector. This crime is familiar to me. Edgar Allan Poe. To what may I attribute the honor of your call? The night before last, a young girl and a mother were found murdered. The daughter's body was lodged in a chimney. The mother's head severed with a straight razor. You're referring to one of my stories, a work of fiction. I'm afraid I am not. Do you actually think that I murdered these people? What cannot be disputed is that your imagination is the inspiration of a horrendous crime. I love you, Edgar. Be careful. I believe the killer is taunting us. I challenge a brilliant detective mind of Edgar Allan Poe, a game of wits. I will kill again, and on that new corpse, I will leave clues. As unfortunate as this is... You may be uniquely qualified to cast light on our killer. The Pit and the Pendulum. Are there other stories in the collection? Specifically about murder. I'm afraid so. This killer is methodical. He wants us to know he's gonna strike again. Stop. I dare you to try to save your beloved's life. Where is she? He will keep her alive to keep you involved. He's part of his game. Emily. I would gladly give my life for hers. I know you would. I'll send you to hell! No matter how this ends, I will kill him. And I would th think, uh, I think Pugsley should go next. There we go. Or. Or. Music news. Music news, yes. Yes. Hmm? Uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber says that the a sequel to The Phantom of the Opera might go, go away, stupid ad thing, go away. Um. What? No, there is a sequel, sequel to the Phantom of the Opera. There is, is a sequel. It came yeah. out. Yeah, there is, uh, and it is doing something on Broadway. It came out two years ago, and I saw it in London. Ooh. I've seen it. Yeah, and I think if... I don't remember if, if, if Elisa likes it or hates it. I think she hates it. Um, yeah, that's what I, I think. I think there's some really cool, awesome stuff in it. But there's also a lot of really weird plot points, and it's kind of it, it's a story who doesn't want a sequel. It's the original story. It closes. It doesn't need a sequel. It doesn't want a sequel, and then you force it upon it. And that sequel goes when it's such a close story. It's as good a sequel as can be. But it would go. It was going to suck no matter what, and not make much more sense. Yeah. And you know. Um, change the events of the previous things and they say oh you remember this we did back then 10 years ago which we didn't see in the previous musical but they remember it because apparently it happened upstage or something um, 
but but it has some really cool stuff. But it it, it was going going to suck no matter what. We all knew this. Yeah. The music is good. Um, the setup is good, but the story was bound to suck. Yeah, it sounds like it. Wow. Ah, uh, but what if, what if nobody else is? Uh, do we? Who's going next for the news? Because I do have a little something. I'll do. I'll keep it short. Yep. Yeah. You go, Rosen. Yes. Uh, Warner Brothers is making a Bleach movie. It's gonna suck. That I heard all. that. I heard that. Probably. Yes. Yes, I heard that. Warner Brothers. Yes. Mhm. Yep. Ah, oh, poor Warner Brothers. It doesn't go well for them. Yeah. You know, they made Lunatics. That didn't go over so well. And now, yeah, now they're trying to, rip, trying to do Bleach. Yeah, but they also did most, DVD the, big, the big problem with, with Warner Bros. right now is that their big money uh, intake every year has been Harry Potter for the last decade. Mm -hmm. They could really rely on Harry Potter. And now there's no more Harry Potter movies. They oh, hope that trouble. Green Lantern and the DC movies could be their new thing, but Green Lantern bombs. Yeah. So they're kind of screwed right now. Mm -hmm. They're looking for projects yeah. to cash in money on. Mm -hmm. Yep. With no more Harry Potter and a DC project didn't work out so well. Yeah. So it's like, hey, oh shit. Mm. So yeah, Gomer, you're up. Ah, I am up. Aren't I always up? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. I have only one, but if you're a Pokemon fan, you will be looking forward to this. In fact, probably by the time this goes up, I don't know how long it takes for him to put it up. But you may may have heard the results of this. But as of this recording, for anyone who's been dying for the next big, big, big bit of Pokemon news, it's time to get excited. Earlier today, Pokemon producer Junichi Masuda took to the Game Freak blog with the tantalizing promise that he would be making a, quote, very important, important announcement, unquote, on the Japanese show Pokemon Smash. Here's exactly what he had to say. On this coming Sunday, February 26, 2012, from 7.30 a.m., I, Masuda, will be appearing on TV Tokyo show Pokemon Smash. Not only that, and there, I will be making a very important announcement. So be sure not to miss it. Watch it live on TV. And for those of you who can't watch television live, I will, I will announce the same information right after the show via Twitter. Everyone, I hope you, I hope you all enjoy the show. Ciao! What was so, the information? Probably a new Pokemon game. I'm willing to bet. And I found I found out about this story from a friend of mine on Facebook. And we are speculating that it's either going to be an announcement about Pokemon Grey, the inevitable remakes of Ruby and Sapphire, or That would be awesome. Or Pokemon Snap too. Huh. That would be pretty cool. That would be. Especially if you take the three D S controls into account. The camera and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be kind of nice. That would be awesome. Yes. So, I personally think it's going to be. A, I personally think it's going to be one of the first two. And I'm. Have, or maybe just maybe just uh, six. Maybe just Generation Six. Could be. But then you know we haven't had a third game for Generation Five yet. True. So I was like, eh. What was Generation Five again? Ruby and Sapphire. Black uh, and white. Black and white. Oh. Yes. Which I kind of want to go through those again. We were... But. Yeah, I kind of want to go through those again, but I'm busy going through Final Fantasy three. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you uh, finish white in my life? Yes. And eat the Pokemon. Yes, and you've been attacked by, by the, the way, news. You get, the gap, you get that gas starter yes. right. Yes, that was the news. You've been attacked by the news. Uh, last segment of the podcast, since I'm going in reverse, is the Around the Web segment where we talk about what we've seen around the web. And uh, we should go in the same order. Gomer, you can go ahead first, and we'll go backwards from the original startup. Okay. And I'm actually going to use this to. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm going to be. I'm going to. I'm actually going to plug my own stuff this time, because I actually got a new review out. My review of Carrie, the original 1970s version with Sissy Spacek and all of that, it is up on my site, rtgomer.wordpress.com, and it also has a cameo from a uh, a certain Danish lady somewhere Me. in there, which I'm not going to spoil anything, and she better not either. 
she just did. Oh, too late. <laughs> oh well. Go watch it. Oh well. No. Oh well. But but if you have not seen it, go watch it. Or if you've seen it again, go watch it. Yay. Um, the response has been really great. Yes. People have called it my best acting thus far. Yes. <laughs> And that's not even a joke. That's true. Yes, I I have heard the same thing. It's like, holy shit. So. Okay. Doesn't go well yeah. for my other videos then. Yes, but um, but yeah, but and speaking of Sophie, there are, she does have a new video up on, on uh, I think on the uh, about Agony Booth and also on my site, her Twilight review. And book. online. Yes, go watch Sophie's Twilight okay. review. It's also good. Preferably on mine, because it needs more views. <laughs> <laughs> we all need more views. What are we talking well, about? Well, I, I do get the most of my views from the Agony Booth, sorry, guys. There you go. <laughs> but I, and and actually, my, my next video is very soon is up, because it's already recorded. I only like the editing. Yay! Yay! A few days. Very quickly, this right. one, actually. So, for my pick, I'm going with. Hmm? Go ahead. Go All right. Ahead. For my pick, I'm going with uh, with Charlie Callahan, aka Spaz. Call you, call it what you like. Oh yes. That was awesome. His awesome new series, which you should go watch right now. Yeah, that was a pretty good series. Do it. Yes. Do it. And he, it even got the uh, full bunny stamp of approval, so you know it's good. <laughs> yes. Yay! Yay! It Anybody knows of the Star Kid, um, the Star Kids, Star Kid Potter, who makes the most amazing um, fandom musicals to put up for free on YouTube. They are hysterically funny. I've done two Harry Potter musicals and one about Starship. And they have just posted the teaser of their next big musical. They're going to perform free live in uh, New York and then put up on YouTube. And so far, all they've done is really really hilarious and they're going to go do Batman this time around hmm. okay. if anybody is a Harry Potter fan they should just go and check out the Harry Potter musical and their Potter musical sequel it's amazing work really amazing and um, a Starship musical and they also made one called Me and My Dick <laughs> wait, wait Me and My Dick <laughs> yep wow that sounds like something I would make <laughs> Um, I think it also shows a really good different way to make internet videos. They, they actually this entire um, amateur production theater feed that they make the live theater and record it and then put it up. And it's really amazing. I, I hope it will catch on and more people do something like it because it, it truly is amazing. People should, should go watch it. Hmm. I love those guys. All right, then. And I think that's it. No, it's not. We're missing Pugsley and me. Yeah. Don't be skipping. skipping. Right, right. Skip, you're skipping pu your own girlfriend and the host of the show. What are you skipping? Dude. The only, the only part. Fine, I, I apologize to one of you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you. One of them? <sighs> I hope you would apologize to both of them. Because, you know, one of them is your bot. One of, one of them is the host, and the other one is your source of Nookie. <laughs> I apologize to the Nookie source. <laughs> How dare you? Don't ask. How dare you? <laughs> I'm going to fire your ass. <laughs> oh, please. I'm the one who keeps getting these, getting this so popular, and you know it. I know. I need you. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Abuse of power. Ho! There you go. Anyway, this should be Bugly turn to talk about. too interesting. I've seen two interesting things, and they're both, uh, I guess, artistic. They're both in the artistic fields of some way, shape, or form. One was a bunch of sidewalk chalk pictures, and you wouldn't even think it was sidewalk chalk pictures. And then the other one is a father who, who photographs his two children, and they are amazing pictures. And I just... Oh, yeah, I've seen some of these. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is pretty awesome. Mm, that is goddamn awesome. I know. It's it like, is. Like, work, it's like, wow, it should be like... Like, you're not even sure that they're sidewalk chalk pictures. Like, you're not even sure that they're drawn. Like, you think... I thought... I thought the first one with the fire around it, I thought that was real. Like, I legit thought that it wasn't, like, 
a, a drawn picture. It was insane. I was like, these are amazing. Uh, that, that that's awesome. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> All right, yeah. So I will uh, say what I've seen around the web, and uh, it has to do with a cat and dubstep. Yeah, cat yeah, dubstep. Yeah, the the there's a cat that likes dubstep, and he shakes his head and sticks his tongue out. It's pretty cute. <laughs> Kitty! Kitty loves to choose this. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That, that is the... That's really so long because my computer is about to overheat. That is the... Are you related to Stitch? The web state. <laughs> oh, how about this family? <laughs> Please. Oh, how about I love I Stitch. I also want to drink. <laughs> Oh, he's drunk now. No, he's not. Hey. All right. So we don't fuck with no pants. We got Nala Krista. I don't even know what that meant. Anyways, that's the Round the, round the Web segment, and uh, I suppose we could end the podcast. And remember, remember, with more than two million thumbs down, the most disliked video on YouTube is Justin Bieber's baby music video. Wow. <laughs> How is that relevant? It's no. not. It's not. It's a random, on. <laughs> random fact, and, you know, I'm the host, Scooter Mike, and along with me are my co-hosts, Gomer, Pugsley, and the Rosenhacker with yeah. with with that people with special guest. If my computer if my computer crashes, I'm blaming you. Screw you! <laughs> I need you. I should fire you. But hurry I up! To. It's about to overheat. Fine. You've been attacked by the awesome. Yay! Over here, it's gonna explode! Watch out! Yes, it actually could catch on fire. It's gonna Holy catch shit. on fire! Oh my gosh! Mike! 